With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, the question is an ideal liquid having the length of the liquid columns is L and the column in V shape take as so. If the liquid is displaced, then its time period is. Now we have to time period. We have to find the time period and the options are we can see A, B, C, D. Clear? Now, initially we can see that this level of the liquid is the same. So if we displace this liquid, we can see from here. If we displace this liquid from here by X, if we displace this liquid by X, then what will happen from this side? It will rise by this x clear now this angle is what beta we can see so if you write the pressure at this point from both arms from this side and from this side so we can get this p is equal to let us consider this point is the d this point we can consider here d this point is the d point so pressure if you write pressure at this point d point from both arms from the both side then we will get pressure at d PD is equal to, we can write, this is equal to P atmosphere and plus the rho liquid, which is the density of liquid and G into H. H is what? Let us consider initial length, initial height is H naught. This is the H naught, clear? So this is what? Rho G into. Now, when we displace by this length X, then this is what we have to find. Let us consider this is a triangle this triangle we have to find this so this height is this this is the x we can see from it this is the x and this angle is what beta so this we can find this is equal to we can see that this is the x sine beta this length is what x sine beta so we can see this is equal to h naught minus x sine beta so this is the h naught minus x sin beta we can write clear now if you write the pressure at the d point from this arms so this is equal to we can see pd and pd dash we can find and this is equal to p naught and plus rho g and h naught and plus this h naught is this you can see from here h naught is this clear now we have to add this so how we can add again we have to make a triangle this side this side triangle is this we can see this is the x so this we have to find and angle is given that angle is given this length is the x so we can find this length we have to find this length one second this is the x is given so this we have to find clear this we have to find and this is given alpha clear so we can see that this length is what x cos alpha clear from here we can see that this this angle is what alpha this angle is the alpha so from here we can see we can see that this is the x cos alpha so this is equal to h naught plus we can write x cos alpha we can write clear now pressure difference we can write del p is equal to let us consider this is the first equation and this is what second equation so pressure difference del p is equal to p minus p d dash we can write clear and this is equal to from here we can see that or we can find p d dash minus p so this is the p d dash minus p this minus this we can find p d dash because this is the greater than this that's why and this is what pd clear now from here we can see that this is equal to difference is equal to rho g x and cos alpha and plus sin beta clear now force is equal to del p into area clear so f is equal to del p into area so del p is this so this can be written as rho g x into this is what cos alpha plus sin beta into area now as we know acceleration is equal to force and divide by mass so acceleration is equal to we can write from here this is the rho g x into 
can see the cos alpha and plus sin beta this is the force and we have to divide by mass and mass equal to what volume into density so density and volume equal to a into l we can write clear now this a and a cancel out from here we can see that this a and a cancel out from this density and density cancel out so a is equal to from here we can write a is equal to g x into cos alpha and plus sin beta and divided by we can write from here this is divided by l clear now this can be written as a is equal to g by l and cos alpha plus sin beta this we can write in this way into x clear now if we compare this equation by a is equal to omega square and x clear so from here we can see that this omega is equal to this omega square is equal to this so from here it is clear that omega square is equal to g and divided by l into cos alpha and plus sin beta clear this now as we know time period is equal to this is the omega square so omega is equal to g into cos alpha plus sin beta and divided by l we can write clear this is what l clear now this is the root under omega is this now as we know time period is equal to 2 pi by omega so from here we can write this is equal to 2 pi and divided by omega clear now after putting this value so time period we will get and this time period is equal to 2 pi into this l and divided by we will get g into cos alpha and plus sin beta this clear now this is the time period we can write clear now we can see that we can write this is equal to t is equal to 2 pi and root under l and divided by g into cos alpha and plus sin beta clear so this clear now according to option we can see that this is the time period now according to option we can see that this t is equal to this is the cos beta and cos alpha sin beta and the cos alpha sin alpha and sin beta sin alpha and the cos beta so this b is the right option for this question hope this answered the question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today